Hey, here is another quick tip for this week uh, before I move over to other things. I want to talk a little bit about patches for lighting artists in the Unity engine, specifically the same principle probably works in Unreal 2 though, but I want to explain it in Unity because as a lighting artist in Unity, you need to be more aware of it and you have more control of it. This information is also useful for artists, anyone actually using uh, Unity engine and doing any kind of lighting and to optimize your lighting. So basically, if you don't know, the CPU will do something called draw call. A draw call is basically an object that contains uh, all the information of the object. So the shape, the size, uh, the, the material and everything, right? Uh, if there are multiple of the same one, like the, all of these yellows, they are then put together into the same draw call and it's called batches. And you can see it here on the stats. Here it says batches. And then that eventually is turned into set pass calls, which goes to the GPU and then it renders out the information according to how it's been calculated. It's not 100% accurate, but hopefully it's simple enough to understand. So you have a draw calls, multiple draw calls, all of these objects can become a batch. The fewer the batches, the better the frame rate, the better uh, the optimization is going, more or less. There are a lot of exceptions though. Um, so basically what I wanted to talk about is if you go to the window and you go to the analysis, there's something called frame debugger. I have it open here. And you can see I have around 724 batches and over 2000, right? So if I go in here, you can see basically this is the, I believe these are the set pass call or all the calls. And you can see it says random different meshes and sub meshes. So that's why it's not being batched. It's selling you this different material different material and so on and you can see as I go through this it's uh, going through all the batches so these are like different reasons for that uh, being high or low so if I click play it goes down to around 450 now if I click turn on these spotlights they're being carefully placed on the same objects, like all the yellows, for example, which is basically the same, which was previously the same batch because they had the same information, so they were being batched together. But in this example, they're going to start breaking up. And when they break up, the amount of batches increases and amount of set pass calls and other information, they increase due to this. So if I now go into the draw call, and I now have a look. It says objects affected by different form of lights. Why? Well, because we have three different lights. They all are different lights. They're not the same light. They don't have the same information. It's different color, different origin, and so on. So that's costing us quite a lot. So as I go through the, the all the information, you can see by the end we have almost a thousand batches now because of this. So when you are doing your working and as a lighting artist and you ask to optimize, for example, and increase the frame rate and improve your frame rate from like around 84 or whatever, uh, this is something to keep in mind because if you, we now turn it back off, even if we turn off two of them and we keep one on and we do another bake, it's different rule for dynamic, dynamic and there's different rule for static. I'm just showing you the principle. And you can always leave a comment if you need more uh, tutorials on this. And now if I go in again on there, you can see we're starting to go closer to 90, 96 FPS. And we have a fewer batches and less of this message. Uh, this is now more about materials, GPU intensing and other things that normally you don't have to worry about. Uh, a programmer or someone else will deal with that for you. And by the time we reach the end, we have um, 830 instead of almost 1,000. So we cut it down by a, uh, a few. Now, if you do the same with the last one, we do a new generate lighting. It's going to calculate and process everything. It's going to go through the draw call, create the batches, and send out the set post calls. And notice how a uh, few set post calls there are now compared to before. And now you can see it starts uh, on pretty low and a lot of them are being uh, bundled together now as um, as batching but now there are like different reasons for not them being batched. I mean, we're not going to get into that 
the point there is if I've, if all else is set up correctly uh, this is what you need to worry about right and you can see now we are on 688 from almost a thousand and we are set per scroll almost down to 200 and frame rate is above 105 at this stage the same logic applies for reflection probes if you have multiple reflection probes and you're just carelessly placing them around you're gonna end up with the same problem with your frame rate and quality of lighting and it's gonna affect your cost as well and here you can see we are barely around 100 now and you can see we have more batches again and uh, shadow casters of course will remain the same and if we look closer you can see it says objects are affected by different reflection probes so if i were to put them together into one reflection probe that will solve the issue as well and the same logic uh, applies for lighting probes as well that also uh, cost uh, batching if there are multiple of them and they're placed differently um, for that solution i'm not going to go too much into it but basically one way to bypass it is to use an 